there, there's always been this Christian just using Satan as like the blame for everything. Yeah, um, of course. I, I'll, I'll. They did that with I wanna, music. I want to talk about that for a second. Yeah. Of um, one in the original Bible, do, there is no mention of Satan or right. the devil in the original Bible. Uh, the Bible is written about 300 years later is when Satan... 1978. <laughs> the, yeah, there was no mention of the devil until 1978. Uh, the, the devil isn't brought into the Bible. He's kind of edited into the Bible about 300 years later. In the original Bible... It's like, a cool 300. It's, it's very clear that like the problems that the world has is because... <laughs> There are greedy people who are taking all the land and taking all the money. Thank and, God we're over that. And colonizing different countries. The The original enemy of the Bible was the Jeff Roman Bezos. Empire. Of basically like the last book of Revelations. It wasn't originally about the end of the world. It was about overthrowing the Roman Empire. That Jesus was going to come back and help the 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 christian people overthrow the roman empire but 300 years later now the christians are in control of the roman empire now they're the ones with all the money right. so they can't have themselves be the bad guy and that's where kind of the devil is kind of placed into the bible as just like this demonic figure who rules in hell who he can now be it's not us, the people in charge, who are taking all your money. It's this guy who's, who's the evil. And you see that of into the 80s. I don't think it's... It's like early divide and conquer shit. I don't think it's a coincidence at all that satanic panic and and Reaganomics yeah. took place at the same time. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's a divide and conquer. Yeah. It's don't pay attention to what we're doing. Exactly. Worry about this fucking sat fake bullshit. Exactly. You know? and, and it's never the, mind that we're yeah. uh, you know starting the funnel of resources and sucking it out from the bottom and up upwards into the one percent, which we're exactly. seeing now. Exactly. Where you, where you have these Christian groups, a, a lot of them are poor white, of now the, oh, the fact that, like, through our, through our, like, Wall Street gambling and the fact that rich people aren't paying taxes anymore and you guys are getting fucked with taxes right now, that's not really what's ru ruining your life. Dungeons and Dragons is ruining your life. Heavy metal is ruining your yeah, life. Exactly. Yoga That's is ruining your life. Yoga. Well, they wanted to ban ban yoga too, because that was another thing okay. of in the eighties of just like yoga, anything that was considered like Eastern, yeah, was now related with say it was anything that was had its origins in anything other than Christian, is now considered Satanist, right? Which is also where the the idea of like. It's just saying the process church is Satanist. Well, it's they're they're not, but people will believe that because they're not Christians. Yeah, and that's why you can relate anything that's that's pagan or from like a Hindu religion, like yoga is, as just being Satanist. And that's and that's what happened with in the eighties. And I don't think if it wasn't for Satanic Panic, there's no way Maury Terry's book, The Ultimate Evil, would have been anywhere near as popular. Well, as I was going to say, too, like, you know, you can make the argument that Maury Terry was just out to make a buck, but everybody that is around him seems to be in agreement that, no, this was really his his thing. Like, he... I, I don't think and, he was out... No, I don't think he was out to make a buck. I think it was... Um, I don't know. Maybe it was just a happy coincidence. Maybe subconsciously he knew this is what people are hot about right now and this was going to get people's attention. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I go back and forth because, like, the whole thing with conspiracies, I don't go back and forth on Maury Terry. I think he was totally out to lunch. Yeah. Um, I, do, I, I still I lean towards Berkowitz not acting alone. I don't get into the whole satanic, like... Do I think there could have been a small group of them that were into some satanic weird shit and like the snuff film? Sure. Why? That's not impossible. You know, that's uh, not. Yeah. You no. know, I mean, there's there's fucking sick people in the world. Like yeah. the fact that they could have had a, a little group. Um, I don't. 
I don't doubt that. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily think it definitely is true, but, um, you know, the thing with conspiracies is like, it's tough, right? Because there are legitimate conspiracies. There are yeah. legitimate like groups that work to, you know, conspire together to, to do really fucked up shit. And, and we see that in politics. We see that in, yeah. um, different things that 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 happen in this country and other countries but at the same time when you're looking for that like one tidy explanation you know or it's like oh the clintons just like fucking murder everybody or you know that one tidy tidy explanation is generally not that right um do i think the clintons might have murdered a couple of people maybe probably a lot of circumstantial evidence there yeah. too but the, we don't have to get into that. Like, and we just got pulled from YouTube. Damn. No, we're not popular enough for that yet. One day. <laughs> no, we could say we could say whatever we want on this channel. Ugh. Not whatever we want. For now. I, I well, don't know. When it's, we do our big Spotify he, deal in thing. 10 years, we'll uh, here's my thing about start getting pulled. conspiracy theories of just like, I'm, I'm willing to believe it more if you're associating it with a group like the CIA that I already know. One, no well, exists, and two, has a history of doing shady things. Do you think there are groups that exist that we don't know about, though, in the government? Like uh, the Bilderberg group, I guess we do know about that. But, you know, that sort of thing. It's like, how far will you go? And I'm, I'm not... I'm just asking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause yeah, they, um, like, w what is the line? Do we know what the line is? Like, I think that most of the shady things, um, are done by groups we know about. Yeah. And the CIA and the FBI. <laughs> yeah. And that a lot of these things aren't necessarily done in the shadows. There's not secret meetings. They're in boardrooms dis legitimately discussing how can we make more money while we can destroy people's lives. And it's just, like we just a, lot, a lot of the evil stuff that the high ups the, the wealthy people in power are doing are right in front of us. And yeah, it's just we just like, bombed Syria and Iraq again, yes. and it's like two days why, ago. Why Mainstream we, media doesn't uh, say jack shit about that, it. Uh, the, yeah, exactly. It doesn't say like, jack shit. MSNBC but, but and that's, CNN. That's the thing of just why I don't really believe in these secret groups because it's like, what what's the need for an Illuminati when they can when the rich people of the world can do literally whatever they want in front of us. It's true. Open about it. Like what's you just the have this thing come it? out about about the what's about the billionaires yeah. and taxes. Everybody knows what happened. Nothing. But it was a so, news story last week. It's so not anymore. They're doing everything out in the open, and we, I, I'm gonna sound like I'm beating a dead horse because I've said this so many times on our channel. But like, we literally have a culture of billionaire worship in this country where they do what ever they want out in the open and people either they just don't care or they see for a fact that it's happening and just say nope or the, like they're they're such a, uh, americans in general have a just a, a such a mantra of just like my eyes are lying to me what i'm mm. seeing and what i'm hearing right now is not what's happening you know what do you mean by that I mean, I, I don't mean, disagree. I just think it's an interesting point. I I mean, I mean, what don't I believe in uh, that? I mean, there there are people who believe that Joe Biden is a leftist. You know, look at what he's doing. Your yeah. eyes are not lying to you. Your ears are not lying to you. There are yeah. people who believe that Donald Trump won the election. Well, yeah. Your your eyes are not lying to you. Your ears are not lying to you. Uh. There is no secret conspiracy. Uh, you know what what's being done to screw you over is being done in the open there is no need for the that i agree and that's yeah, the I don't painful disagree at part all. there is no need for an illuminati because people do not care it's true and and all this like uh, it's a there there are evil satanists that are out to get you that's all just look over there yeah. That was the same thing that they were doing 
back to the Roman Empire. Having said that, though, <laughs> I still don't think no, uh, yeah. David Berkowitz like necessarily acted alone. No, I don't know. If know? I, and that, I that's and again, the, uh, that's the theme of the thing. So yeah. uh, you know, I'm trying to bring her back. Ba- but back to the Roman, Roman Empire. Empire. Yeah. The Christians take over the Roman Empire. They create this evil boogeyman named Satan. It's only 90 years later that the Roman Empire falls apart anyway. You know why they fell apart? Because the people at the top who had all the money were funneling the money to themselves. They were, the only thing they were willing to spend money on was the military so that they could keep everybody else under control. Oh, no. And they weren't paying their own taxes. They were overburdening all the, the smaller uh, kind of city-states with taxes. And that's why the Roman Empire breaks. They breaks apart. And you know who the, the people who in the high command of Rome, they blame the pagans in Northern Europe. They blame the pagans. And that's kind of where the situation of just like these pagans are actually Satanists. They're the work of the devil. And that's kind of where we get all this stuff from thousands of years ago. History we repeats get all, itself. History repeats itself of just like... It's their fault. It's it's not us doing it. It's this evil guy named Satan. Let me ask a dark question. Is this country, like, over? Because on paper, we are the Roman Empire. I, I don't know. If Everything you, you just described. If you look... Sounds like right now. Yeah. If, I mean... Am I, I wrong? Don't <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know. I don't think the country is over because we own the world. So, look, I, I'm not going to, like, say I give up hope in America, because I don't, because I don't. Well, I, we got Joe Biden in there now. <laughs> Everything's fine. I, I don't know what the future looks like. I mean, historically speaking, it, it doesn't seem so bleak. It's, I mean, it, it doesn't seem so optimistic. Historically speaking, what happens to countries like us is that we break apart into smaller countries. That's what happened to the Romans. That would happen to Alexander the Great. So, that's a person. Well, that's what happened to Alexander the Great's empire. That's what happened to Napoleon's empire. Yeah. Historically, things are not looking so good for us. But Satan has nothing to do with it. I, that that's one thing I can say for sure, certain. Satan has nothing. Well, to Satan do with doesn't this. exist. No, he doesn't exist.